Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. God bless you. Today is Monday, November 30th, 2020, St. Andrew's Day. We shall be reading from Matthew chapter 4, verse 18 to 22. Matthew 4, 18 to 22. And Jesus, walking by the sea of Galilee, saw two brothers, Simon called Peter, and Andros, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Then he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. They immediately left their net and followed him. Going on their own from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in the boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their net, he called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in, this, in the synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all kind of sickness and all kind of disease among the people. The topic we have today is called but not idol. Called but not idol. And today happens to be St. Andrew's Day. It's a saint day. It's a special day to commemorate a saint, one of the disciples of Jesus Christ, who lived in Galilee with his brother Simon Peter, where they were fishermen. He was sentenced to death by crucifixion by the Roman in Greece. But he asked to be crucified on a diagonal cross as he felt he wasn't worthy to die on the same shape of cross like Jesus Christ. History have it that this diagonal cross is now used as the Scottish flag because of the role St. Andrews played in Scotland. St. Andrew was one of the early disciples of Jesus Christ after Jesus' wilderness experience. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 8, Jesus needed to constitute a team of hardworking and faithful people who would follow, observe, and emulate him. And to be entrusted with service. And he found here those who are already engaged with a responsibility of fishing. It will interest you that fishing is a noble tax. Fishing is a responsible tax because it needed more commitment and devotion. Jesus did not need idle men. He needed people that are already engaged, people that knows the importance of time, people that are, re that are ready to work, people that are not there to waste time. That was the people he needed. And St. Andrews happens to be one among the people that accepted to carry out this noble Tax. And that is why the church is celebrating him today, commemorating him for his life well spent as a disciple, as an apostle of Jesus Christ. Today you find out that in our churches we have hired men with the name evangelist, apostle, pastors, bishops, prophet, and prophetess all over the street with the mandate of 
their stomach and money. Many are lazy. They are not ready to walk. Jesus needed disciples that are ready to walk, not idle men. It will interest you that today many pastors are idle. They are idle in the church doing nothing. People are moving every day to hell before them. In their congregation, there is no effective message that will pull them out from the pit of hell. We need to emulate the life of our brother Andrew who rendered himself and all that he has for the gospel of Jesus Christ. God's calling is a noble one. It calls for total commitment, hard working, and faithfulness to the calling. Ministers of God, children of God, whatever name you carry and title you carry, it is time for you to be committed, to be serious with the tax given to you. The tax that is ascribed to your calling. It is time for you to be effective in evangelism, effective in mission and humanitarian outreach. That was the reason Jesus Christ chose those who were already faithful in active service, fishing. Not lazy and idle people who think that the calling is for money making and title, just like we see today in our generation. It is a call for total commitment. It is a call for faithfulness. It is a call for hard working. It is a call for accountability. It is a call to be holy. It is a call for righteous living. It is a call for active ministry. When we talk about ministry, we are not only talking about the pastors. We are talking about everybody. Each and every one of us are called. You are, we are called to evangelize. Say, go ye into the world and preach the gospel. Go ye into the world. It is a command given to each and every one of us, no matter your status in the society. It is a command given to you. It is a command given to I. So we must rise up and carry out this command effectively to the glory of God. As a Christian, you should put your gift and ministry into action according to Mark chapter 16, verse 15, which is the major reason of our calling. That is the major reason of our calling. We must emulate our brother Andrew who forgot about his fishing profession, forgot about his boat, Forget about what he will gain from the fishing experience or from the fishing work or job. He abandoned all those things just to follow Christ, to be a disciple, to be a soul winner for Jesus Christ. God is expecting us today to be committed in the ministry work. There are so many things that are hindering us, so many things that are making us not to be focused in the soul winning. That is the heartbeat of God. Many of us have forgotten this assignment. It's a noble call. It's a divine assignment that every one of us must participate and must be actively involved in this calling. May the Almighty God give us the grace to carry out this calling, just like our brother, St. Andrews. Today, we are remembering him. We are talking about him because he, lives his, he lived his life according to 
the will of God. God is calling us today to take away whatever that would deprive us from not accomplishing this purpose, why he called us. We are called to be active and not to be idle. We are called to be active and not to be idle. Many people are procrastinating. You want to pray. No, let me leave it. Let me leave it. After I can do that. You want to go out for evangelism. No, let me leave it. After I can do that. But hear me. The Lord is reminding us today that he has called us into active ministry. He has called us into active ministry. We don't need to be idle. We need to move on. We need to go out into the world and preach to all people. Preach to everybody, not only in our congregation. We need to go out and bring people to Christ. Just like our brother Andrew did. We need to emulate him in hard working as a child of God. Today many think that the ministry is a bread of rosy, where they will just come, sit down, and manna will be falling from heaven. And that is why we have gotten it wrong in our generation. Because we want money, we want food, we want the people to accord us all that we needed. But we are not ready to go out there and to save the people. It is a call for each and every one of us to arise from your slumbering. Arise, wake up, move on, preach the gospel, win souls for the Lord. Bring them to the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Because there are a lot of things that are battling with people in our generation today. There are many kingdoms that are fighting, battling with the people. We should go out and fetch them, bring them to the Lord. And the Lord Almighty will bless us. He will bless us. And he will surely make ways for us where there seems to be no way. It is not easy, but we need the Holy Spirit of God. Before you go out, you must first of all accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Know him. Ask your Lord, ask God, have a revelation of who he is and also have a revelation of who you are in the Lord. In so doing, you need the Holy Spirit to equip you for this great task. Just as he has equipped our brother, St. Andrews, and today we are discussing him. The Lord Almighty will help you to be an icon so that when you are no longer, people can talk about you for good and not for evil. May the Lord bless us. May the Lord bless his word. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word that has come forth to us today in our daily fountain devotional of Church of Nigeria. We ask, oh God, you help us to engage in this hard work. Help us not to be idle, but to be effective in this ministry. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. To alert the sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen.